Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2017 in our European Journeyman series at Brighton. Now apologies for the very long delay between videos. Um, it's a combination of factors. I'm busy at work. Um, I'm also not that interested in the game anymore. It has been out for quite some time. We're waiting for the new game to come out to match the new season. Um, and I think I've just lost my appetite a bit for the game. Somebody asked recently if there were going to be more experiments. The answer to that is almost certainly no until the new game comes out. Partly because I'm uh, not thinking of any really good ideas. If you can inspire me to do a video with an idea of yours, do put it down below. Um, but the other part is that I do just want to relax a bit because when the new game comes out, I am going to hit that very, very hard. So I hope you guys stick around until the new game does come out. Uh, at the moment, I'm thinking that I'll try and do a video uh, on this series because I am still enjoying the Brighton series. Um, I'm going to try and do a video on this every two days um, and I'm going to get a couple of videos recorded today so I can at least commit to that for the next few days. Um, but I will obviously do more videos or less videos depending on what's going on um, and how interested I am at picking up the game again. So when we left off last time, we had managed to get into the Premier League. We had a decent pre-season. We then lost quite harshly uh, to Chelsea in the Community Shield final, which was a bit of a shame. Um, our transfer business was pretty much all done. We didn't really have anything left in the budget. We spent £37 million bringing in some very good players. Uh, and I'm quite confident about how far we can go this season. Um, obviously, we've got the Europa League this year as well because we won the FA Cup last season. So that will be a big game. Um, or a series of big games when that competition kicks off. But at the moment, we need to focus on our league form and kind of figure out where we're going to be this season. I think top half is a realistic expectation. The board are saying mid-table is what they expect. Um, there's a small chance we could push into Europe. The team had been doing well against big teams. That could count in our favour. But this match, a normal Premier League game at home to Southampton, will be a big indicator of how well we can do. So I'm putting out a strong team. It's a fit team as well. We're going to be playing with Frias, Hartwig and Bueno up top. Bakaria and Pope are both in midfield with Marin, Lambeze, Andres, Pachazka, Fernandez in the back line and then Darbo in goal. Highlight here in the first minute, it's Marin on the left flank, th three players in the middle, he finds three as tackle comes in, Bakaria there fouled on the edge of the area, was it in the area or out the area, the game just frees in, it looks like it's a penalty which seems a bit harsh to me, I thought that was outside the box but the foul must have continued into the area and we have a chance 90 seconds into our Premier League return to take the lead against Southampton. It's Bueno to step up and Bueno has it saved by Butland. I seem to remember him having a few saved in important matches last season but that is not the ideal way to start our season in the Premier League. Frias with the ball, he's got players around him but it's covered by the Southampton defence and they've released Kalido in the middle as well. He tried to chip Darbo which was quite audacious but Darbo more than able to stop the effort. Fernandez with the throwing finds Bueno. It's put to the edge of the area but nobody there for us and now Southampton can counter. Another ball over the top working a dream for them and Kalido cannot beat Darbo who seems to have the beating of him at the moment but we are really asking for trouble in behind at the moment. Bueno sends the ball out to Fernandez, trying to counter-attack here just before half-time. Hartwig to Marin. Players in the middle for him. He finds Bakaria. Now Frias into Hartwig, through to Bueno. Good position, and he makes up for the penalty miss with an arrowed finish past the goalkeeper to give us a 1-0 lead in our first Premier League game of the season. Fernandez to Bueno. Pushes it into Bakaria. He sends it back to Pope. Players to his left if he needs them. Dinks it into the middle for Bakari. He's got so much space. He finds Marin and our left wing back has just made it 2-0 against Southampton in this South Coast derby. An excellent finish on his right foot as well. And we have doubled our lead over Southampton who is starting to look in some trouble. Marin into Bakari and now Frias. Back to Bakario again. Good ball switching it to Fernandez. We're starting to find our rhythm now. Frias slips it into Hartwig and he finds the back of the net as well. It's becoming a party and he has scored uh, his first goal for Brighton on his Premier League debut. We've got another highlight here straight from the kickoff. It could get embarrassing for Southampton this. This has been a real show of strength from our team. 
Uh, just showing Southampton that we are a real Premier League team coming into this season. We are not, I don't think, going to be fighting for relegation. And Carter there has gone in already on a yellow card. He's going to get a second. And Southampton now 3-0 down and down to 10 men. Just five minutes to go in this game. We've made all of our substitutions. We've totally dominated the second half. But Asiano has just got past one of our defenders. He's taken on the keeper and he's just dribbled it the wrong side of the post. Well, there is the full-time whistle. A remarkable performance from the team in our first game of the season. We did show flashes of this against Chelsea in the Community Shield final but ultimately lost that game but we're now second in the table after the first round of fixtures four teams still to play but I would back us to still be second after those games are played what a performance from the team and that just adds to that confidence I have that we really really can kick on and do well in the Premier League after that very impressive win against Southampton we need now need to try and get some revenge on Chelsea after that Community Shield disappointment. It would be a bigger scout for me, I think, if we beat Chelsea at Stamford Bridge than had we won the Community Shield because it will be more of a contribution to our goals this season. Because we've had a week off, the team is very fresh and a lot of them are still playing. Frias, Hartwig and Bueno all stay up front. Bakaria and Morris still in midfield. We rejected a £33.5 million bid from Arsenal for Morris. Um, I've promised him we'll play in the Champions League next season. I don't think that's going to happen, but he can be unhappy at the end of the season rather than now. Um, and I don't want to lose him because we will not get a replacement in as good as he is. Um, in defence, Marin, Soler, Andres and Lembeze all continue. Fernandez is in at right wing back as well. Uh, Darbo in goal. Corner from Chelsea, put into the back stick. It's headed down Locarno into Burge. Back to Locarno again, and it's deflected wide. I think Burge had the better position there to finish that chance, and laying it off allowed us to get the block in, and Bakaria gets this corner away from danger. Free ass with the ball. First time we've really been able to attack. It's Bueno over the top, and Hartwig might be in behind. It's a good touch. He's got players arriving at the back stick. He pulls it across, and Free ass at point blank range. Can't finish it, but we have... Got the ball over the line. Frias is getting the credit for the goal, but that was an absolute calamity by Chelsea in defence, and we have been very fortunate to take the lead there. The kind of look we didn't get at Wembley, but we are getting here. Now, there's a big head of Martin, but Castro's stolen the ball. Now, Younes trying to come forward. The ball's put across, and there's Burge, and he also benefits from a big slice of luck there. Some lucky deflections. And he has made it 1-1, one, one, our lead barely lasting any time at all. Chelsea with the free kick, the ball does break down for them and we managed to clear it away. But they come again with Christensen, now Evans into Bar. Players ahead of him, he finds Castro, dangerous move here, he pulls it back and there's Page who has somehow missed the target. I thought that was a certain lead for Chelsea. This game getting very tight now, it's even in the stats, we are slightly edging them, especially on possession as well. But I think Chelsea may be with the momentum right now. Castro across to Lecomte. He's got players in the middle. It's in. Younes has buried the header in the side netting. And Chelsea have finally broken our resistance and taken the lead. Soler trying to come forward. Ten minutes ago looking for Cooperdon. Header on cut out by Christensen. Now it's Lecomte. As we try and go for a goal they could hit us on the break. Here's Page. Into Younes, great tackle from Andres against his former team. Fernandez to Bueno. Inside to Coupidon, good ball over the top. Frias is in behind, a good first touch as well. Oh, he's just flashed it wide of the post. I thought that was going in when it went past the keeper. But still, we await a goal. Um, just five minutes to go. Castro puts the corner in, Lambeze away. Now Lecomte finds Page again. Castro. Puts the cross in, it's cleared out, Marin has it, can we counter-attack? Nobody forward for us, we need to get more aggressive um, in the attack. Here's Bueno though, can we get something here? He's put it over the top, Frias with another chance in behind, goes past the keeper, hits the crossbar and it's headed off the line. Fernandez still has it but can't keep the ball and Chelsea are without doubt our bogey team at the moment. Just over a minute of normal time left to go. And Chelsea again come at us. Another big tackle from the team. Andres on the ball. Over to Soler. Now Marin to Cooperdon. Puts it over the top. Frias can't quite get that ball. He nearly had a third opportunity to run through. Here's Lecomte. 
I can't believe he missed that last chance. It was basically an open goal after he rounded the keeper and instead Younes runs in and he does strike the post. Fortunately, we get a bit of luck. Not that that is really going to matter by the end of this game. Here, Chelsea with a big throw as we approach full time. Two minutes of added time to play though. There's always a little bit of hope if you've got two minutes to go, but the highlight ends there. And this corner will be the last kick of the game. It's put in over the bar, and that will surely be the full-time whistle from the referee. There it is. We have lost away to Chelsea. I think that's really, really unfortunate, um, and that we were very unlucky. The team reacting well to that, and it means we drop down to seventh place, picking up our first defeat in the Premier League. We've managed to win one, lose one so far, but I think at home to Sunderland, we've got every chance of getting another win in our Premier League campaign and will then follow that up against Bradford City in the EFL Cup second round. Newcastle, the team that we play after that. So this win against Sunderland would be a nice way to finish off the Premier League in this episode. And I think we have the capability to get the three points, especially given how we performed against Chelsea in both games. And I think we were unlucky to lose both of them. Maybe more deserved the defeat in the last game than we did at Wembley, but still very much showing our, uh, holding our own at the moment. And I think against Sunderland, we will get a result similar to Southampton. Now we're playing the same front three as the last couple of games, same midfield and pretty much the same defence. Just Carlos Eduardo coming in in that position and Darbo still in goal. You can see the morale has dropped a little bit, so we do need the win today if we're going to get that back into the green. Oh, missed header from Lambeze and Yonker's been allowed in on goal and he drills it into the bottom corner there. I wasn't expecting anything to come from that just random ball forward, but a huge mistake in defence and suddenly we're pegged behind. Soler forward to Beccaria. Ball comes through to Hartwig, he finds Bueno. Back heel into Frias, but he took the shot too early. He had more time than he thought. Soler to Marin. Trying to push for this equaliser. Frias into Hartwig. He's gone past the defender. Good position. Can he angle the shot? He went for the near post. He should have gone for the far post. Well, we are now an hour into this game and we have still not managed to fight our way back into it. This couldn't be more different than our last few games, really. The team completely falling apart. 11 shots. Just one on target is not acceptable at this level. Here's Soler with the ball. Back to Andres. Lambeze to Morris. Now Eduardo. Finds Bueno. Can we get the goal? Frias into Embom. On off the bench and absolutely messing up that effort with his left foot. Just 10 minutes to go. We are getting a little bit more accurate. We've now had two more efforts that have gone on target. Another one going in there, but it is just not enough right now. We're going to throw the kitchen sink at it for the last couple of minutes, but I really don't think it's going to be enough. Maybe I should have gone more aggressive early on, but whenever I do that, it just doesn't seem to work out. Now when Bombs got injured as well, uh, which is not ideal, we can't make another substitution, so we're playing with 10 men for this extra minute or so. But it's going to be a horrendous defeat for us against Sunderland, and I did not see this coming, so maybe we need to rethink our position in the league table, and maybe that promise uh, I made to Morris about making the Champions League is looking a little bit far-fetched. Bacaria to Bueno, is there a la late dramatic turn in this game? Bueno again, finds Eduardo, over to Bacaria, maybe one more chance, Coupadon, no, nope, there goes the full-time whistle, an embarrassing defeat at home to Sunderland, absolutely no doubt that the team did not perform to expectation and we slipped down to 13th place and we're going to have to use the game against Bradford City and put out a strong team just to get that morale back up. The final game of this episode is at home against Bradford City. I'm putting out a strong team to try and recover our form after two defeats in a row, but three defeats in our last four games. We do need to get the morale back up. So Hartwig and Bueno will continue to play up front, but Pospisil comes in through the middle. Pope has joined Morris in midfield with Hickman uh, and Fernandez in at the wing-back positions. The defensive three are all the same and Darbo continues in goal. Peng trying to come forward for Bradford. Tackled by Hartwig, no foul given there, I thought it was, but it's put over the top and Pospisil's going behind. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and it's a very good save to keep it out. Well, we've managed to reach half-time and it is still nil-nil. 
in this game and we are looking just as poor as we were in the last match I don't know what it is about the team but we really really need to turn this around nearly an hour gone still we push trying to look for the breakthrough it's Pope through to Pospisil back to Pope again Fernandez finds Bueno and he's missed it from a tight angle Fulgnati sends the ball out to Cyrus now sent out wide to Baxter Bradford can they get a late shock in here Carmona head a, heading that ball out to Hickman back to Carmona now it's Pope to Morris Frias we need a ball over the top Pospisil maybe going to deliver it sends it back to Morris instead now Fernandez over to Bueno Fernandez again switches it to Hickman very well he plays in Frias and he's hit the woodwork Frias back to Hickman 10 minutes to go now Pope, 18 shots we've had in this game. Pope again to Morris. Bueno, round the corner. Fernandez has the ball. He's in on goal and it's again hit the post. Fernandez over the top. Ball headed away. Frias brings it down. Now Pope still pushing. Fernandez over to Pope again. Ball out wide. Finds Hickman. He puts it in and Frias is there inside the six yard box to find the gap and finish the chance finally we have the ball in the net with about 10 minutes left to see just a few seconds left and it looks like we will be winning this game but Bradford have given us a real scare today bearing in mind we made the final of this competition last season from the championship it'd be pretty embarrassing if we were knocked out in the second round by Bradford City now that we're back in the Premier League and the FA Cup holders uh, but there is the full-time whistle. We do at least finish this game with a win. I'm going to tell the players they did well, even though they didn't, because we need to get that morale up. And it means that we are in the next round of this competition, going into the third round draw tomorrow. It's nearly the end, um, or is it nearly the end? It is nearly the end of the transfer window. The next game will actually be in uh, the 1st of September, in September. So that will be the end of the transfer window. Um, this episode we haven't done that well two wins two defeats it should have been better against Sunderland we should have done a lot better about against Bradford and out away from home against Newcastle we have to do much much better as well uh, we'll also play Stoke but we'll be at home for that one we'll have the Europa League group stage draw we'll know who we're going to be playing there and we'll be away to Bournemouth as well so some big games coming up do drop a like on the video if you're happy to see this series back as I said at the start it's going to be a little bit infrequent from here but do subscribe if you want to see the daily or every other day episodes and drop a like on the video if you're happy to see it back as well but until next time see ya